What's up everybody? This is Easy Street Gaming. This is Easy. This is both Easy, easy Street Gaming or Easy. <laughs> there I am up there in the corner where that red arrow is. If you click on that red arrow, the picture of your Facebook uh, picture or the icon. And then you click on this button down here that says Talent. That will bring you to your Talent Pages. Today we are going to be talking about how to set up your Talent Pages. There are a lot of variations on how different good players want to do this but I'm, I'm going to give you the way that I think is probably the best uh, if you can follow along great if not we'll talk about it some more in other videos uh, first to set up the war page you want you want to have training speed your truth troop health march speed and troop attack troop troop health and troop attack we're gonna I'll, I'll talk about that a little later on in the video that's gonna be for a specific troop and I'll, and I'll tell you what I mean a little bit later uh, then you want to set up one page as your 50-50. By 50-50, that means you're going to kind of evenly put your talents on the, both pages. And that means you'll distribute them between the troop training, the research, the construction. And the production. Those are, your pro those are probably the four most important non-war items that you want to always um, make sure you have talent on troop training research construction and production you don't you know people like to do gathering too but gathering you have to be online and you have to be actively um, gathering for those to really work well so production is actually a little better I think uh, last you want to set up your last page for growth and your growth page now this is gonna now I just want to tell you now there's going to be another set of instructions I'm going to give uh, some of the more advanced players that's going to kind of go away from this right here but for the newer players you'll set up one page that has research construction production you'll also have something on the, on training get go to like the first training and get all 15 of them in and then gathering so you, you'll have everything you everything except for anything that has to do with war because this talent page you will switch away from if you're going to do any kind of war attacks so to set up your growth your growth talent page we're not going to put any kind of talent on any uh, troop attack troop defense troop health none of that at all the only thing on the combat side we'll do is we'll get to the first training and we'll get through the first training and maybe max out the first training which I think is 15 and uh, that way you don't have to switch back and forth every time you want to train as well you can keep on training while you are using your, your growth setup uh, now there's a way you can specialize this too and you'll split up your growth set up into two different talent pages and we'll explain that a little bit more as the video goes on but um, for the newer players you'll set up your your growth page will kind of cover everything so you'll you will set up mainly two things which is your research and your construction those are your two major items on the growth page. Those are your buildings and the the Temple of Wisdom, which is your research. What I would suggest is that you don't just go and fill up the first five things that you come to, and then you run out of all of your talent points. You'll you'll put the minimum amount. You'll notice that I just put the maximum on um, construction, and then the next one after that, I had to put four five on it. So I put five on the next one, then five on the next one, then it went down to research, and I and I put the maximum on it so I'm kind of skipping over everything except for construction except for research we already put 15 on the on the uh, training I'm just gonna read what's on the right side because there's some important points I wanted to make so I reminded myself that's how you do it <laughs> I can't stress enough how important it is to try to learn the bonus system check the bonus page often until you feel every change that you make on your runes and on your talents by feel I mean a lot of, if you're just adding if you're just upgrading things to upgrade them because you have the resources to do it but you don't really know what it, what it's upgrading you're you're sure you're advancing the base but you want to feel every single addition that you make to your to your base so by by that I mean if you understand where everything is going and what impact it has on everything then you'll have a better understanding as to what you want to do and when and you, you, the only way you can do this is to open up some of these odd pages that you may not have never even seen. I'm, I'm sure that there are some people that have never even gone into this uh, the check bonus uh, screen, where it, this shows every single bonus that I have on this page. 
So right here you can see I have construction speed at 59% and that is a combination of the dragon kin, the talent page, the rune page, the research that I have done already. And the research speed I have at 68, 1.8% and that's all the buildings, the dragon kin, the talents, the fire, you know the little fire that you light when you come on every once in a while. It's right, right now at the current time it's actually at 3% research. One of the philosophies I like to use is always try to improve upon what you're already doing well. So when you're checking out all of your different um, bonuses, see what you've already got going well and try to improve upon it because that just that will just get you to shine a little better. Uh, okay, so Brutal Age has many repetitive actions that are necessary to operate at your max capacity. Get in the habit of switching runes before every building upgrade, research, gathering, training troops, even attacking other players. So if you're not swapping out your runes, in between every you know if you're going if you're building troops and then going out and collecting resources and then upgrading a building and you haven't swapped your runes around at all then you're making a, a you're doing a big injustice for your base or for yourself you're losing a lot by not switching your, your runes around if you don't have any yet because you're just a new player you you'll understand once you start getting all this stuff uh, so swapping your talent page can be just as vital as vital as swapping your runes once you understand all the bonuses and how your talent page works alongside of your runes the cost is 200 gems to swap from let's say the 50 50 page to a war talent page for service war for server war for example uh, then 200 gems to swap back after the war that, that seems like a high cost but it's actually well worth it because the bonuses that you can get by beefing up the different pages instead of just having them all the 50 50 and instead of spreading out your talents throughout both sides of the page now you'll you'll beef up certain things on different pages and then you'll swap them out you can switch between them for 200 gems and it's a it makes a huge difference huge difference so now here as, an, as another little demonstration of how I'm not going to go and just use all of my talent points on everything I'm going to kind of skip most uh, I'm gonna do the minimum to go from construction to research um, now on your growth setup I don't really worry too much about the March speed I know a March speed is probably better for collecting for everything but I'm not really worried about it on the talent page if I really need to march faster I can use a March bonus and, and get a 25 or 50 percent on the March uh, we, you get those all the time for just for participating in things like the frost fire event and things like that so I'm going to minimize how much, how much I put on the march. I think you have to put 5 on at this point. So I'll only put 5 on there. Then I'll go down to the next one. I'm going to, I'm going to skip the meat and go to, and follow the wood. Because meat is so much more readily available. I believe you have to put 5 on it as well. So again, I'm putting the minimum on these talents that I'm not really searching for. Uh, even though production is big. But as you're starting out, you're going to go and max out your construction max out your research and you're going to max all those out before you start filling in the production and then after production is filled in then you can start looking at things like uh, gathering and stuff like that so easy big secret for advanced players when in growth mode build one tree for construction and research and training so don't even worry about focusing on all the other things uh, that we mentioned earlier in the video I know it sounds odd but that's for the players that aren't quite as advanced as you may be uh, just your one tree is just going to be basically to construction and research so every time that you are going to upgrade a building every time you're going to do a major thing remember if you guys don't know this by the time you get up to like the, if you're going for t5s if you're if you're on t2s right now and you think that uh, 18 hours is a long time to wait I believe I heard someone waiting for 85 days days for one of their upgrades so the, the upgrade times get amazingly high so by that time you want to have a a, a, a tree or a uh, talent page assigned just to construction and, and research and, I, and again I always want to put something on training as well that way you don't have to switch back and forth from your construction to research and uh, go and, and go to a talent page just for training so we will have a little bit of training on everything on the second tree or talent page we'll have our daily and the daily is our production and training so if you're if you're if you don't have any kind of construction upgrade or research upgrade that you have planned for the day then you will keep your talent page on production and training and because with just a production and training page you can 
max out a lot of the production. You can get, you can probably max out, if you have 120 talent points like I have in this, by, by now, on this particular account, you can, uh, and this is not my main account, so I have a lot more than my main account. Uh, I think this account's four months old, or something like that. So you can get a, a lot of talent points quick. Uh, you'll, by not sp spreading the, uh, the talents out, you can use it on the second tree and you can really max out your production and training and so your training will be really high and your production will be really high and and that's what you'll stay in most of the time you'll only switch to your other tree when you're getting ready to do a big upgrade in construction or a big upgrade in research so the second tree for production and training is your daily you, you'll kind of stay there most of the time your third tree the final tree will be for war and I'm gonna go, kind of go into the war I'm, I, I have another whole video that is actually going to be a lot longer too. It's going to be like 20 minutes long. And we're going to go into exactly what I would do for a, a war attack and how to do the talents for a war attack. Even though if you guys know me, I, I don't do a lot of it myself. But I talk to some of the best players in the business when it comes to doing these war attacks and how to prepare for them. I've seen um, uh, marches of 1.2 million lose to 300,000 because they had the right partners talent and rune setup and that's not an exaggeration so a brief summary of the battle setup war setup varies a lot based on what you have to work with but the principles will always be the same the first step is what partners are you are going to lead so you have to start off with what partners you're going to use based on your partners mo morale bonuses max out talents for those troops only so i'll say that again max out the talents for the troops only so you have to start off, what heroes are you going to bring? In this example, we're going to bring a blue team, which is the blue black shaman, blue nomad, blue colonel, blue berserker. They all do bonuses on the shaman. The three star does plus 30. The four star does plus 40. The, the two five stars do plus 50. That's all uh, morale boosts for the shaman. So because they all do shaman morale boosts, we are going to only build shaman troops when we're getting ready for this attack. And we are all, and on our talent page for war, we are going to max out all of the shaman based items so we don't we won't have any on beastmaster we won't have any on warrior we'll put them we'll start off by putting as many as we can on shaman um, health and shaman attack and that's all the time we have we're going to get into this a lot more in the next video hope you like the video guys um, leave comments in the comment section gonna try to do more of these videos because I know a lot of people ask for them I know I do mostly partner guides but I think you need this stuff too so I hope you enjoyed it till next time it's been easy take care everybody